senior from Walnut Creek, California, number 20, Sabrina Yomasto. Playing from such a young age, and that's all I was looking forward to doing. Here's Yonescu, three, there it is. And the fans are on their feet. I had to fight for every rebound because my brother wasn't going to give me anything easy. Is kind of what I translate to my game now. Ionescu is in your face. Oregon point guard Sabrina Ionescu is the most dominant college basketball player in the country. Is the NCAA record holder for triple double Sabrina Ionescu? It's a journey that started at home with one enduring rivalry. You never shot a half court. Yes, I did. We'll go back on tape and we'll see it. Yes! There's ice in my veins! It's game over! We're going to be shooting in this video at the same time for super passionate fishing. I'm Maria Taylor, and this is ESPN Cover Story. Playing on my brother's 10-foot hoop. My family has always been their inspiration to keep pushing and one day become a WNBA player. Thank you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Growing up in Walnut Creek, California, Sabrina Ionescu has always shared her love of basketball with one person, her twin brother, Eddie. When did you sense the competitive nature between those two? Oh, gosh. First month, the first the week. She will not back down from anything, and he will not back down from anything. One of my favorite memories of Sabrina and I growing up was going to the park, playing people for money, for Slurpees, whatever it was. We would stay in the park for hours while our parents worked. If we really, really got into it, there'd be blood, someone would cry, there'd be fights. It'd be pretty intense. Vicious, vicious. Whether she would bust my lip or I'd hit her in the nose on accident or the little dirty plays that some basketball players do, tugging on your shorts, whispering in your ear some trash talk. Ooh. Who won the most games? He'd say he did. I'll say that I won most of them. I'd say I did, so I did. <laughs> when the twins were seniors, basketball began sending them down different paths. Eddie would play at a nearby community college, while Sabrina was a McDonald's All-American. I knew that she wasn't wanting to follow in the same footsteps as other female athletes, so she kind of wanted to steer in her own direction. In the summer of 2016, Sabrina enrolled at the University of Oregon. For the first time in their lives, the twins would live apart. Just not having him always to come home to and, and to talk to things about in person was a lot different for me, especially when I was not playing how I thought I should be playing. It was a little tough not to have each other there just to really be with one another. The summer after Sabrina's sophomore season, the twins had an idea. I was like, why don't you just come up and live with me and come play basketball and, and figure it out? And so he was all on board. Just seeing what she's all about, how she's the first one in the gym, last one out, first one in the classroom, and last one out. I wanted to have those characteristics rub off on me. Eddie enrolled at Oregon their junior year. That season, Sabrina set the NCAA triple-double record for men and women. With Eddie in the stands, she would lead Oregon 
to its first ever Final Four. Let's go! But the Ducks would fall short of a national championship. And is this the last time Sabrina Ionescu plays a collegiate game? It was a great season for your team, but have you given any thought to next season? No. Following the loss, Sabrina had 24 hours to declare for the WNBA draft. I was torn. The opportunity to go pro is something that I always dreamed about. I felt that weight on my shoulders almost that she had. He starts bawling, and then I start crying, and so I was like, I, I just don't know. I know that her competitive mentality is, was telling her to stay. So I just remember I said, I'm going to stay. That's all I said. Ionescu zip pass, Hebert up, and she scores. Over to Ionescu, left side, lay it in. And that gets the crowd into it. A historic mark. Sabrina Ionescu, she has just become the first player in Division I history with 2,000 points, 1,000 assists, and 1,000 rebounds. I'm so proud of you. I'm so How did playing against Eddie kind of shape the player that you've grown into? He didn't take it easy on me, regardless if I was a girl, if I was smaller. He tried to do everything he could to win. And I did too. Give me my money. I don't think I would be half the person that I am today if it wasn't for him.